My name is Rob Vale and I am one of the founders of Illuminos. We are a video projection mapping art company and we have been working for about 11 years, myself and my brother Matt, uh, on all kinds of video projection artworks uh, across the country and internationally from very large scale pieces such as the um, Bournemouth Arts by the Sea piece that we did in 2019, as well as really small scale things, theatre based pieces, uh, operas, large scale spectacles using pyrotechnics, all kinds of different projects. Um, and we were fortunate enough to work with Arts by the Sea, as I say, on our Hotel Delusion piece in 2019. We're really excited by the idea of creating a, a giant illusion in the style of magicians from the Victorian era. Um, Portmouth having that history of um, spectacle and of entertainment and of these kind of wonderful illusionists that would come out of the Egyptian halls up in London and, and tour around. Um, so we wanted to see if we could do something with projection that fused that kind of long tradition of magic and mystery uh, um, with new technologies. One of the really interesting parts of the piece that we did in Bournemouth was that we used um, some software called Notch, which allows us to live create um, content directly onto the building in real time. Um, so you can probably just see here as the uh, as the magician is um, on the building here, he is creating these yellow swooshes that come out, this kind of magic that he creates. And on each of his movements, you can see those, this yellow sort of whizzes around the building and he's kind of fighting these demons at this point that are kind of flitting in and out of the space. Um, so that is done in real time, which is really interesting. So you're mixing the content that you've got, that you've created and animated um, with this kind of live effect. And it's this, it's quite difficult technology. You've got computers kind of running everything, manning everything the right way. But at the heart of it, you're drawing that. It's a little bit like you're kind of drawing it on a piece of paper, but it's onto a computer screen. Um, and ironically, the, the best way of doing that is on a, it's on a little tablet. And the only way that we could make sure that we didn't fly off the building with that, because it's quite difficult to know where you are on a screen while you're doing that, because you're sort of drawing it with a pencil, is to, uh, what we did was, if you can just see this one, we created uh, just a, a little mask all the way around our little design here. And this is basically the building with little walls all the way around it made out of tape um, and our little pen. And that means that we can, hit those edges and know we're going to hit the edge of the building and this little bit here is the balcony where we keep coming back to so each time he did his little bit of um, magic on the building I was able to draw that in real time across that little design there and know that it would fit the space as he was kind of creating all his performance elements so a kind of little behind the scenes uh, trick of what was going on both this strange mix of again high tech and really low tech bit of tape stops it all going wrong this is uh, my setup. We've got the um, the Wacom tablet here, which we create a lot of uh, the assets on. Um, it allows you to kind of draw in in a much more freehand way, which is really nice. Um, and then over here, the, the kind of main edit computer where um, we can kind of work on all of these different projects. Um, Matt and I are kind of both making different assets and different elements, and then Matt works on a lot of the audio as well. So he has a studio setup which allows him to create all the um, the compositions for the piece. Um, and then on here you can just see, you know, this side is, we've got Cinema 4D going on here. So this allows, for example, on the um, Hotel Delusion piece, this is the building in its 3D model format. Um, where we can see what the content that we've been making um, looks like before we get to the building itself. And then that model is used to help with the mapping of the content onto the building. One project that we are working on during um, the lockdown situation is a piece called Sentinels that we came up with um, to really challenge ourselves and look at, well, what can we do as projection artists in this situation we find ourselves in where um, our kind of everyday lives have been turned upside down really and we are collaborating with City of Trees a charity in Manchester and Hits Radio in Manchester and what we are looking at is projecting on 33 trees that are spread out across the city of Manchester. The trees are set as a trail for you to um, explore and follow around. There are 33 different species and they're all there for different reasons, um, both historic and for the kind of practical um, things that the trees bring to a city, both for shade or for different structural reasons. 
And then we are taking projectors in a kind of mobile way and we're beaming a portrait from a different key worker onto a different tree over the course of three or four nights. We're going to live stream that activity, even though it'll be happening very late at night in June, because that's what happens. And we are moving our way around. And once we've got um, all of those different um, images in, we'll know where we want to project each one. And we've teamed up with Hits Radio, who have been doing um, what's called a hero hour each day, where people have been tweeting in or Facebooking in and saying thank you to a particular key worker that they want to recognise as having had an impact during this time. So Hits Radio are pooling that resource and are doing a big call out to ask people to send images of themselves or of people that they want to thank. And that's where we're getting the connection to people and the portraits that will then form the basis of each projection as we go through. In terms of how we've been coping during this um, strange lockdown period, I think like many people, We've had our ups and downs and highs and lows. Sometimes we feel great and fine. And we've got things that we're working on, such as the um, Sentinel City of Trees piece I was talking about earlier. Other times we feel really down. We were meant to be working on a, an opera, um, which would, be, would have been really exciting um, down at Garsington. And that obviously had to all be cancelled. So lots of you know really disappointed people um, for that, us, us included. We're hoping to get back there and when time allows and uh, and do that again. But those kind of things and, the, and projects that we would have hoped to have been involved with uh, that haven't happened or have got to be postponed make it really difficult. Um, but mostly we're quite optimistic in terms of how we can progress and how we can move forward. And we've continued to make work and develop ideas and concepts that hopefully will bear fruit as we can get into better times.